Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a World News Flash. Today's date, February 21, 2024, about 1 p.m. Texas time, episode 127. So I have some comments from subscribers. Putin is 2 plus, meaning uh, we've heard about President Putin possibly passing away several years ago, replaced with his brother, then a cousin. And my Patriot subscriber says he's currently 2 plus. And that Ukraine is an internal war for Russia. NATO, it, to NATO, it's a golden egg in terms of they make money on weapons. And I'm so tired of militaries always fighting, trying to panic their people. I have another Patriot subscriber, Doubles. There's many in the U.S. And I have this Patriot subscriber. Oh, talking about that recent interview of Tucker Carlson with President Putin. Um, there were several comms there. The watch, the pen. Clock is ticking, plus watch the water. And uh, also, Russia just launched some type of new sub. Watch the water. Another Patriot subscriber, Deep State Money. They tried to get money, that's in the U.S., for war by going around the house. So that's going on. Now, we'll talk about first Israel. I'll do a few updates here. Gaza, the West Bank. Okay, genocide continues um, with uh, by Israel, and they are in the process of breaking the Camp David Treaty of 1979 that means war with Egypt Egypt has its military right here so that's going on because uh, Israel started bombing last night in Rafa uh, at, according to Hal Turner and they've already killed um, thousands in this area in Gaza. Now, the number that have been killed, Hal Turner's number is 30,000. Benjamin Fulford's number is 100,000. I submit it's between this because we've been hearing 25 to 30,000 for weeks and they've continued bombing. Now, what's coming out is some more information about Israel from a Dr. Steve Pizeknik. He's former uh, CIA, and he's bringing, the, bringing this out. They were Israel, Mossad, and Benjamin Netanyahu personally was involved in the FF in the U.S. in 9-11. Dr. Steve also talked about the Liberty, that was the warship that Israel tried to sink. I had a Patriot subscriber whose husband was on the Liberty. 34 sailors were killed and hundreds injured. That was during the Six-Day War. So we see that Israel has not been our friend and... He brings this out. Yes, he also substantiates this. Hamas was begun, trained, funded, and continues to be controlled by the U.S. and Israel. So that's coming out. So now they've broken the treaty with Egypt and other Middle East nations. So look for the war in that area to intensify. And I would place the number of dead closer to 100,000, somewhere between 30,000 and 100,000. Now we have this about Ukraine, Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhzhia, Kherson, Odessa, Poland. Oh, yeah. 
I have confirmed and have many sources now saying that the shadow part of the Polish government and the shadow part of the Polish military have agreed with NATO, who appears to be operating under a spell of bloodlust, that a certain number of civilians and military in Poland may be killed to kick off World War III. And we have this coming out. Zelensky must be on his way out because what's surfacing now, this is how the deep state operates. When you're no longer useful, then things begin to be leaked and come out on the mainstream. A very disturbing video of Zelensky with a five-year-old boy. So I submit he's on his way out, most likely to be replaced by Budunov. Currently the head of the intel group inside Ukraine. Now we have this. Canadian prepper is saying that F-16s will be launched from Poland into Ukraine. I outlined that in a previous video. as one of the methods uh, and that will be another FF, uh, Russia, Russia, Russia when it's actually the bloodthirsty NATO that did it. F-16s to take off from Poland and attack Russia inside Ukraine. And inside Poland, the Polish government has been putting up road signs, watch out for military equipment. They start, currently still have a no TAM no flying over most of uh, the eastern part of their country and the yeah and we have this uh the polish government is telling the polish citizens not to take pictures or go on the internet and give information about the military equipment being moved around now hal turner is bringing this out that Russia has positioned all along this a border, 48 Iskanders. These are hypersonic missiles. And 48 times 2, because they each carry, so 96 missiles. And they're... Uh, sh their short-range missiles, hypersonic speed, 2,100 to 2,600 miles per second, or Mach 6 to 7. They can reach an altitude of 50 kilometers, range 500 kilometers, or about um, 310 miles. 500 kilometers... So that's going on. So this concludes my flush. I love you and I'll see you soon.